What's up guys? It's spring, April 2020 in Minnesota. It's nice out, but not a lot of backpacking going on because of the virus. So I thought I'd drop a quick gear video for my ultralight spring setup just to show you what I've got going on. Now these are the things that work for me. They're not necessarily gonna work for you. So in no way are they a recommendation, but I'd at least thought I'd share what I've got going on. So we'll start out with worn clothing. The shirt for this year is gonna be it's a long sleeve outdoor research uh, sun shirt. So it's like SPF 15, super lightweight, it's got a hood, long sleeve, and uh, breathes super well and uh, keeps cool. Shorts are the same old. We've got the seven inch Solomon running shorts, got some storage pockets in the back, liner, and uh, I've been using these for three, four years. I just bring one pair of underwear. These are Under Armour compression shorts. Socks are just uh, the quarter cushioned, darn tough running socks. And the shoes are the Ultra Temp 2.0. Uh, this is my first pair of Ultras. I've tried them in the past. They were just uh, too sloppy. I couldn't get enough lockdown in the midfoot. Um, but uh, these are working pretty well. Um, I've maybe got about 100 miles on them at this point, and uh, so far so good. Trekking pole, this is the uh, Lucky Vario. Um, I just use one of them. I prefer one so I can keep a hand free to eat, film, do those type of things. Um, yeah, this thing's solid. It's aluminum, not carbon, so it can bend if I take a, take a spill. Uh, yeah, this thing's been great. All right, the pack. The pack is the uh, Mountain Smith Zerk 40. So I got this last year. Um, I've maybe got a couple hundred miles on it at this point. Uh, so far, it's great. It's not the lightest pack I've ever owned, but what it's got going for it is that it carries weight really well, and it's got tons of storage pockets on the sides, on the outside. Uh, on the front, it's got more of the uh, running vest style straps, so I keep all my day's food here. Uh, it's great. It's a, it's a great pack, and uh, this is what I plan to use on the Colorado Trail FKT this year. Um, so before we get into the pack, I also always carry a fanny pack. Uh, this is the uh, through pack, and yeah, usually I would keep my Pixel 4 in here, but I am using it to uh, help me film today. So Pixel 4 would be in here. Let's get into what we got going. Uh, right on top, we've got uh, my headlamp. This is the uh, Olight S1 Mini Baton. Uh, this thing's solid. It's up to 600 lumens. It gets great battery life. It's waterproof. It's magnetized, so if you've got a little bit of metal or a fire ring, you can clip it to it. And uh, yeah, this thing's awesome. Little uh, sport stick for sunscreen. A baggie. I've got a little uh, microfiber cloth for camera and sunglasses, and then some uh, ibuprofen little thing of uh, Pickerton bug spray, hand sanitizer, chapstick, a mini Bic wrapped with some Luco tape, and a little Swiss Army pocket knife. It's got scissors, a knife, pretty much everything you're going to need. And uh, yeah, that's connected to the Zerk. Uh, front pockets, don't keep a ton, usually these are reserved for food. Um, just keep a buff, uh, wipe sweat. Uh, I like to wash my legs at the end of the day. I use this to wipe condensation off my tent. Headphones, these are the Samsung Galaxy Buds. Uh, these things are solid, pretty good battery life. They're water resistant and uh, I usually put one in at a time so it extends the battery life. Main pocket, rain jacket. This is the uh, Arcteryx Norvin. Uh, it's a great jacket, it weighs about seven ounces, uh, really waterproof. Uh, this thing's been great. I do hike with rain pants. These are the uh, Solomon running waterproof pants. I'm not sure exactly what they're called, but I've had these for maybe five years. 
Uh, they're really light, they're maybe only like four ounces, but uh, they feel like a wind pant, but they give you uh, some water resistance as well. So um, these are about the only thing that'll hike in besides shorts. Hoop kit, got a trowel, a little bit of duct tape. Uh, this is a pretty good little hack. Uh, wrap some duct tape around there uh, for future use, but also um, these, uh, these trowels, the deuce of spades, they're a little bit sharp, so uh, this gives you a little bit better grip and it uh, helps your hand. Um, and then just some, uh, some wet wipes. One water bottle, pretty basic. The water filter, this is the uh, Katadyn B Free. Uh, this is the one liter. Um, this thing's been pretty solid. The flow rate right out of the box is amazing. Can't top it, but uh, unfortunately it does clog up a little quicker than other filters and doesn't quite have the, uh, the longevity that others do, but uh, still good. All right, this pocket, this is the tent. So uh, this is a solid little tent. Uh, this is the Z-Pax uh, pocket tarp with doors. And then I also have the bathtub ground sheet with this. Um, full coverage, 360 degree coverage with the doors, uh, bathtub floor, uh, and it weighs under nine ounces total. So uh, this thing is, uh, this thing's amazing. I love it. This is my little steak bag. So I carry eight steaks total. So I use the MSR Mini Groundhogs for the most part. And then for uh, the main guy out that comes off the uh, beak of the tent, I use the larger MSR Groundhog, just one of those. Um, yeah, that's the whole outside of the pack. Oh, never mind. On the other side, got another nice pocket on the outside, and I keep these REI rain mitts. So these things are solid. I like to keep them on the outside because it's usually pouring when you decide that you need them. Uh, these things are great, super light. All right, getting into the inside of the pack. Food bag. This is the just uh, Z Packs large food bag inside. I consider this a full comfort kit. I'm carrying extra clothing, a warm quilt, a uh, stove. So this is my stove, or my cook kit. This is a little homemade koozie on the outside. And then this is the Snow Peak Titanium 700, I think. On the inside, I just keep the little uh, Fancy Feast alcohol stove, a little uh, one ounce bottle of fuel, and windscreen to go around it all. Sets up all right in there. It's pretty light, works well. Used it for years and uh, yeah, it's great. Oh, and then also got a uh, long handled uh, sport to eat with. Ditty bag, just a little Dyneema stuff sack from z -Packs. Uh, my tent does not have a bug net, so I just keep a little uh, Ben's head net under an ounce and uh, I only use it if the bugs are bad, uh, but I keep this in my ditty bag. A little thing of earplugs. Squirrel's nut butter for uh, chafing, really helps with the feet, hot spots, this stuff's great. Uh, this is toothbrush, so just cheap little toothbrush from Target, a little thing of toothpaste, and then uh, this is just a little thing of uh, CBD oil that uh, I take at night, helps me sleep, uh, helps with recovery a little bit, but uh, yeah, it's good. A couple little tabs of NyQuil just in case the nights get long or uh, I don't think I'm going to sleep well. Uh, this is my little uh, kind of patch kit. Uh, both uh, for gear and for myself. So, little thing in Neosporin. Got an extra cap, uh, sunglass or uh, container for my contacts just in case I need to take them out at night. I usually don't. Uh, some KT tape in there. Um, an extra set of contacts. 
And then I've got a patch kit for uh, my air mattress, which is the Thermarest, and then uh, some extra Dyneema tape to fix the tent or any other gear that I have. So uh, yeah, that's that little guy here. Then I do have 25 feet of line, uh, just in case anything would uh, break my tent. I could use it to hang my food. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Right, now getting to the stuff I wouldn't want to get wet. This is my air pad. This is the uh, Thermarest Uber Light. So this is the long wide. Uh, I think it's a little bit under 12 ounces without the stuff sack. Uh, this thing's been great. I've heard people have had issues with them deflating, but I haven't had any issues. I've had it down to freezing or a little bit below and uh, no issues. This thing's been awesome. It's lightweight and uh, super comfy. I do prefer a pillow. Uh, this is the Sea to Summit inflatable pillow. Uh, this thing's awesome. Quilts. I'm a little bit of a cold sleeper, so I prefer a warmer quilt. This is the uh, Hammock Gear Burrow 20. I've had this thing for five years or so, and uh, yeah, it's great. Even when it's going to be, you know, 30s, 40s at night, I prefer to have a 20 degree quilt uh, just because I don't want to. I don't want to sleep bad. I don't want to stay warm. These are a pair of running tights. These are the uh, Nike Pros. Um, yeah, like I said, this is a full comfort kit, so I do carry rain pants and then uh, tights just in case. All right, this is the uh, Patagonia R1. This is the quarter zip. Uh, this thing's solid. Um, I don't hike in anything more than uh, this long sleeve and uh, rain jacket. So uh, yeah, this thing is a, a newer piece of gear for the year, but uh, it's been solid so far. It's pretty light, it's maybe like 11 ounces. I know there's lighter out there, but uh, for how warm it is and how well it breathes, it's a good piece of gear. Little REI beanie. This is a little pair of gloves. These are the uh, Z-Pax Possum Down gloves for the weight. They're super warm. Uh, they're a little bit fragile. I busted out some of the fingers and stuff and they're only about a year or so old. But uh, yeah, these things are solid, uh, really warm. Jacket. This is one of my favorite pieces of gear. So this is the Enlightened Equipment Torrid Apex. Uh, it's a 10D on the outside, 7D in the inner, weighs I think just under 7 ounces, and yeah, it's one of the warmest jackets I own. Um, it's like wearing your sleeping bag in camp, so uh, this thing goes with me on pretty much every single trip, and uh, it's a phenomenal piece of gear. Like I said, one of my favorites. Extra pair of socks. And battery bank. This is the Anchor 10,000 uh, with uh, the three quarts that I need to charge my watch, to charge my phone, and uh, charge my headlamp. I keep everything in this uh, Nylafume trash compactor bag. I keep everything dry. I think this is the, I bought three of them. I'm still on the first one, so durability is pretty solid with these. And that's pretty much it. Um, oh, and then one more thing. The Zerk 40 actually comes with, uh, it's, it's a frameless pack, but um, it has an insert, a uh, foam insert to give it some shape and just a little bit of rigidity. Um, I didn't really see the point of it, uh, just because um, I like kind of everything to serve a purpose. And if you can only do that, it didn't really work for me. So instead, I keep, it's actually just like a little Velcro pouch that it slips into. I keep the Gossamer Gear eighth inch pad, and then it's cut to a three quarter length. And uh, the reason I use this um, is that it serves a lot of purposes. So it's a frame for my pack, um, it's a sit pad. Uh, I put it uh, underneath the Uber light for some extra insulation, some extra protection. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's got a lot of purposes and it's actually quite a bit lighter than the insert that comes for the Zerk 40. It's only ounce and a half or two ounces or something like that. So uh, this thing's awesome. And then, like I said, Zerk 40 for Mountain Smith. And that's all the gear. So uh, 
yeah, thanks for watching. This was my uh, ultralight kit for uh, spring 2020. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, drop it in the uh, comment box below. Happy to answer them. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can all get back outside really soon. Thanks, guys.